Hi guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Ben Taylor and I'm coming to you right now, as you can see, from my car. Today's video is all about photography tips for beginners to make money online. Now, the great thing for you to really grasp onto in this video is that there has never been a better time to make money now as a photographer. Fact. Whoever tells you otherwise just isn't looking hard enough. I mean, there is loads of different opportunities and I'm gonna discuss some of those with you in today's video. So make sure you watch till the end to get the most out of it. I'm also gonna throw in a curveball, and this is a way that a lot of photographers have been latching onto lately, a really fun way of making money. And I think it's gonna be the next big thing. So I'm gonna share that with you in this video as well. So make sure you keep a lookout for that. Before we jump into the fun stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button and more importantly, hit the notification bell, because if you don't hit that, then you're just not gonna get notified notified of any of the notifications. Okay, let's jump in. Tip number one is to tell everyone, and I mean everyone. So share it with your family and friends and just about everyone that you know. Tell them that you're now doing photography, otherwise people aren't going to know. And if people don't know, then people are not gonna choose you for photography. But let me give you an extra tip on this. One of the best things you can do is join Facebook groups for your local area. So let's say you live in Rochdale. I don't know why I chose Rochdale, but let's say you live in Rochdale. There will be a group for Rochdale on Facebook that you can join. People sell things, people talk about what's going on in Rochdale, and people want photographers. So for instance, there may be someone on there that wants a wedding photographer, and then you can just reply to this, engage with that person, tell them honestly your experience level, because honesty is gonna pay in this, otherwise it's just gonna come back and bite you. So be honest with your skill level, and then you might even get the job and be able to work out a price with them. This is a great way to start, because this can spread word of mouth, which is one of the best forms of advertising, because one, it's free, and two, it just spreads like wildfire. I've really walked through the wrong area to be shooting this video. I'm now walking in thorns. Tip number two is stop photography. This is a great way to make money as a beginner photographer. What's really great about it is that you don't just have to be a beginner photographer. In fact, you can be a professional photographer and make money doing this. And while you're learning, taking photos, you can sell the photos and make money as well. You want to join up to a few stock photography websites. Some of the ones that I use are Dreams Time, Adobe Stock, and Shutterstock. They're three of the main sites which I would tell you to join but well, you can join as many as you want. You don't have to stop at three. You can join 10 or 15. And this means that you can start taking pictures and then selling them on these sites. Now, as a bit of a pro tip, what I'd do is I'd look for current trends. If you decide that you want to do stock photography, look for current trends, celebrations, things like Christmas and Halloween, and then take photos based around this trend. If you add these about two or three weeks before the actual celebration, then you're very likely to sell photos. Now, of course, there is a lot more that goes into stock photography, so I might even make a video on this, but this is definitely something you should check out if you're interested in making money as a beginner. Tip number three is prints. Now, you've probably heard of photographers making money through prints, right? Well, there's a special way to do this, which saves you time and it saves you money. Definitely two things I know beginners are interested in hearing about. This is where you set up a website. Now, if that sounds complicated, don't worry. It's really easy. If you use a web provider like Shopify, they have an academy and it teaches you all the things that you need to know. You don't need to know any code. You can just drag and drop your things into the website and then it really creates it for you. It's simple, I promise you. Then you can use an external app like the one that I use called Printify. And this is a company which will print and deliver your prints for you. You don't have to buy an expensive printer and you don't have to buy expensive inks. This does everything for you and it's a great way of selling prints to start with. Now, if you're thinking, well, I don't have anyone that knows about my prints, then this is down to you guys. You need to get on social media and start engaging with people and get them interested in the service that you have to provide. Woo! Tip number four, Take the initiative. Now we live at the moment in a convenient society. Everything is convenient, that's why we have mobile phones, we have computers, and we have everything to make our life as easy as possible. Now sometimes, this stops us from taking the initiative. Now I'm gonna tell you a story of a local photographer to me and what he did. 
he printed out a thousand business cards. This cost them around about 15 to 20 pound, I believe. He then went and took the initiative by walking into local firms. He left his business card, told them what he did, and then he waited for them to get back in contact with him. Now, all the money he spent was 15 or 20 pound, and then he spent his time walking around for a day. He got five paying clients, which means that they were gonna be return paying clients as long as he did a good job. So this is a great way to make money. And the best thing about it is, no other photographers are really doing it. They're trying to make money online, or they're trying to make money in a convenient way. So take the initiative. This is a really good way to make money as a beginner with photography. Tip number five is photography contest. This is the curveball. There is a website called Shutout, which you can join. And when you join, you can go in contests against each other and then battle out to see which photographer produces the best photos. People vote and then it gets decided. And the winner wins a money pot. This can range anywhere from $10 all the way up to $300. So there can potentially be a nice amount of money for you to win. Now it costs around about $2 to join a contest. So it's around about the cost of a bag of crisps. If you want to get your first contest free and have a free sign up, then I've stuck a link in the description which Shutout have provided me with so that you can jump onto that platform, jump into your first contest and see what it's all about. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed these five photography tips to help you as a beginner make money online. I promise you that if you implement some of these tips that I've provided in today's video, you will make money. You've just got to take the action and then follow through with it. Thanks for joining me on today's video guys and whatever you do, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.